डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर एजुकेशन चैनल लर्न एंड एजुकेट वेर वी वे स्टडिंग ऑफ यू बेसिक्स अबाउट द कंपनी लॉ एंड कंटिन्यू दैट सेक्शन टू क्लॉज सिक्सटी थ्री ऑर्डिनरी और स्पेशल रिजोल्यूशन ऑर्डिनरी और स्पेशल रिजोल्यूशन मीन्स एन ऑर्डिनरी रिजोल्यूशन और एनी स्पेशल रिजोल्यूशन विच हैज बिन रेफर्ड इन सेक्शन वन वन फोर ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड shall be an ordinary resolution if the notice has been duly given and it has been required to pass by the votes cast which means that the requirement is to cast the votes in favor of the resolutions the r exceeds the votes which is cast against the resolution for example when on a particular proposal voting has been conducted and in that voting the votes proposed in favor of doing up of accepting the resolution are more it exceeds the number of the votes which have been casted against the resolution and if it includes the vote of the chairman as a casting vote in case of an e equal number of votes on the both the sides then that casting vote shall be the deciding vote for the acceptance of the resolution thus a resolution for which a notice has been duly given and it is required to pass by the votes which have casted in favor of the resolution which includes the casting vote and it exceeds the votes which have been casted against the resolution a special resolution is passed with an intention to propose the resolution as a special resolution and it has been duly specified in the notice where it has been called a general meeting or any information any intimation given to the member about the resolution it must contain the intention to propose the resolution the notice required is in accordance with the company's act 2013 duly given within the required period of times the votes cast in favor of the resolutions is required to be more than at least three times the number of the votes cast if any against the resolution for example out of the 100 members in a company or meeting the quorum the attendance for a general meeting is 100 there has been a voting conducted proposed for a resolution and the votes casted in favor of the resolution is 75 and that against the resolution is 25 or 76 or 24 which means that the vote cast against it must not which which it is less than 3 times the number of the votes cast in favor thus it is required that the votes in favor are three times greater than that of the votes cast against the resolution which states that if 100 members if there are 100 votes cast against the resolution at least 300 or more than 300 301 302 302 and more than that that much number of votes must be casted in favor of the resolution than to form it as a special resolution when there is a resolution there is an intention to propose a resolution and the explanatory statements must be given in the form mgt 14 the examples requiring the ordinary resolutions are to change the name applied by furnishing wrong information to rectify the names of the company to acceptance of uh, public deposits to appoint an auditor to removal of an director appointment of directors remuneration of directors reappointment of a retiring director and a related party transactions in case of companies where it exceeds the certain threshold limits the matters which requires a special resolution are alteration of articles under entrenchment section 5 subsection 3 alteration of the memorandum change in the object clause of the companies where money raised from the public through prospectus has been still unutilized issue of shares under the employer stock option plan issue of sole equity shares variation in the shareholder voting rights issue of share capital to any person other than the members or employees issue of convertible debentures reduction in the share capital all this case example resolutions require uh, voting by special resolutions thank you